because I want to cram in as much information as I can, I'd, u I'd usually use the same handler for both buttons, but uh, in a previous tutorial I showed you how to use an XML handler, and in this tutorial we're going to create a programmatic handler for the off button. Just a quick recap here, when we hit the on button, it's handled and we get a toast telling us it's been looked at. Let's get straight down to the coding. If we open our settings activity, locate our onCreate method. We're going to place our programmatic handler for the radio button at the end of the onCreate method. And if you've seen the tutorial on button handling, this is going to be very similar. We already have a handle on our radio group, so we can get our radio group, our sound effects radio group, and we set an onChecked changed listener. But we need to give it an onChecked changed listener. So Let's make some space, and for convenience I've created one earlier, so I'll just cut and paste it. So we're going to pass in a new radio group on check changed listener. And this little red line helpfully tells us we need to implement the method inside there called on check changed. Quite a few nested, uh, nested methods. So here's the method we've been asked to implement on check changed and it has two arguments group and the checked ID which is an integer now this programmatic handler is going to react any time a button has been pressed and we should detect that especially because we only want this handler to handle the check for the sound effects off we've already got the handler running for the sound effect on this should all look very familiar to you by now I think uh, I think the tutorials have picked up pace quite a bit. So we create a radio button and I've called it selected button and what we're doing is we're finding the view by ID by the ID passed in as you click the button, the, the radio button. So if we go into our activity settings when the off button is hit this ID is passed in. So now we have a handle on the selected button we need to detect if it's the off radio button. So if selected button dot get ID is equal to the ID settings radio button SFX off, we know that the user has tapped the off button. And to test it we're going to use a toast again. Here's our toast and I'm just going to name it uh, sound effect off programmatic handler. Let's hit save and run the app. Let's go straight into our settings, and if we hit the on radio button, we can see it's an XML handler. And if we hit sound effects off, you can see our programmatic handler has picked that up. That's great. We've got some uh, functioning radio buttons and a radio group in our settings page. It's beginning to look like a settings page, but we need to connect these now to the actual sound play, and we'll do that in the next few tutorials. Thanks for watching.